I thought I'd do another video about pantheism now. I'm going to do like um, this as a video response to the Cosmic Skeptic as well on YouTube since um, I think a lot of his fans have kind of jumped on my video since I put that at Cosmic Skeptic thing in the title of it, since I was replying to the contingency problem and his um, ra really rather good explanation of the contingency problem on kind of this listing thing and talking about my own beliefs a little bit since I think a lot of atheist types to have jumped on it and started calling me a delusional moron, this, that and the other. And I had this other guy saying, oh, this guy just tries to get his random papers uploaded to legit scientific journals, but can't. Oh, by the way, I'm not religious, you know, like an atheist would just to try and attract uh, pats on the back, is it? From other non-religious people, other atheists who, um, you know, just want to believe that they're the cleverest people ever and whatnot for not believing in God. And, um, like, well, you don't really know what my beliefs are, do you? You didn't realise that I was a pantheist. A pantheist is someone who follows, the you know, the teachings of Spinoza. It's the God of Spinoza and Einstein. We treat the universe as God. And a hell of a lot more about the Bible makes sense if you take that as your central proposition, as your postulate, as your axiom, if you like, for God. And um, I think that a lot, a lot more about God makes sense if you do take that axiom. You know, what, what infinitely powerful thing do we know of other than the universe? Or what could an infinitely powerful thing be except the universe, right? Um, do we know of anywhere else in nature where love exists? Well, no, because nature is just another synonym for the universe. So, and this is it. If God weren't the universe, if God weren't the creation entire, that would mean that power, love, presence, um, and knowingness, intelligence, exists as distinct from God. If you see what I mean, and that would make God not all powerful, not all all present, not omniscient, and so on. Do you see that logic? That's the basic logic there of Baruch Spinoza, and um, does this come down to me having read a bit more philosophy than you people have, <laughs> and me knowing a little bit more about what I'm talking about than you people do? Is that it? And um, like, yeah, I do try in my spare time to get things up or get get my papers put in legitimate scientific journals so i read a hell of a lot about theoretical physics and i think i've come up with the right idea for quantum gravity however always in those sorts of processes yes yes a lot of rejection does happen for many years before theories finally get accepted that is just the way that it goes, whether or not you're in academia or outside academia, unfortunately. And I do acknowledge that. I'm not so bitter about it. I do sort of wish they had accepted my paper, though, because that would be, well, that would be extraordinary. It would be a dream come true. It would be, um, it would be very helpful for people out there, I think, studying quantum gravity to look at my results and to um, think about the ideas that I've, that I've come up with. But like, no, you're just like coming, I was arguing against a cosmological argument. This is the thing, in, in the video, I was, I was undermining the cosmological argument, the contingency argument, the Leibniz argument, using cosmology, using physics, using the second law of thermodynamics and things like this. I wasn't arguing for the existence of a deist creator or anything like that. I'm most certainly not a deist or a theist. I'm a pantheist. Leave me alone. You don't like. I don't, I've scanned a few of your videos. You mostly seem to be just bitching about how you can't get published in real scientific journals. I talk about all sorts of things on my channel other than that. Go fuck yourself. You haven't done anything. You haven't watched any of my other videos. You presumptuous little nitwits out there calling me delusional, gaslighting me, standard kind of like atheistic, you know, Dawkins opened the door on, you know, calling religious people deluded, obviously, and um, that's what, ableist discrimination against people with certain forms of mental health problem, obviously, and um, yeah, not to mention racism against their traditions and their faith, and yeah, atheism is pretty racist, actually, very often. 
pretty, you know, religion hating. Religions are the sum of their adherents, among other things. Yeah, like, I, I wish to not be a racist. So I'm a pantheist, Christian, and I believe in the, the, the message of Jesus of Nazareth and his literal existence. I don't believe in any supernatural elements to his story, though. I don't believe that um, he did that and turned water into wine. I believe more like he took the Greek tradition of combining wine with water and took some old stagnant wine, combined it with water and made a cocktail out of that and water and it was delicious at the party, at the wedding at Cana. I believe in that sort of thing. Go fuck yourself, you stupid atheists.